Broken Chains Ministry, and um, one of the things that uh, I, we wanted to do when we first started the ministry was the reason that we named it Broken Chains, the reason that we gave it a name was because we really wanted to take the focus off of the fact that the men and the women that we minister to are incarcerated, and we really want to take more of an attitude that that they are men and women, that we considered a men and a women's type ministry. And, um, as for the men, one of the places that we spend most of our time is um, the Plainfield Reentry Facility, which is the only facility in the United States that's totally dedicated to reentry. And a lady there, Miss Helms, that organizes the volunteers, um, tries to bring people in from the outside to, to get the men thinking about the outside. And, and that's one of the biggest things that we do. And uh, one of the first things that she said to us when we first came in there was, that we were different than most of the ministries and at the time I wasn't really sure um, how to take that but um, after being there for a while and uh, the last time that I visited with her um, she called me into her office and she told us that um, that the men really are excited about us and excited about what we do and I think that the biggest thing that we do is probably some of the things that we don't do um, we don't come in and, and beat them over the head with the Bible or or act like salesmen and try and sell in the gospel, but we just come in and uh, we share our lives and share the fact that we are men that um, have been touched and changed by the, uh, the God of the universe. One of the things that I learned from the Wild at Heart book was that men respond better to a challenge than to shame. So my challenge is that what we want to do is take as many men from Jesus the Messiah as we can and study the book together with the men at the Plainfield Reentry Facility. So if you're interested, please see myself, Bob. Hi, I'm Mary Galagos, and I work with the women's section of Broken Chains Ministry. We go to the Indianapolis Correctional Facility once a month on a Friday evening from about 7 to 8.30 and work with the teenage girls there. Normally we will do a short worship session with some songs, and we do a short message about different topics. And then we have a craft project so that we can have time to talk to the girls and they usually will ask us a few questions about different um, things that they're concerned about and they've really started to open up to us so I think it's going really well. Uh, we always could use some extra help though and if you're interested then you need to contact me and we will get you set up for an orientation session with the correctional facility. They require that you have this orientation before you start to work with the girls and also you have to have a TB test. But we can get that all arranged, you just need to contact us at the office. Thank you. What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? 